it's the most important event, at least for me anyway. Uh, I think the national tournament in every country should be the most important one that motivates everybody in the country to bring the level up in the country itself. Um, so I really try to put a big emphasis on this for everyone here. Uh, I think competition is really important. And I said at the start of the year to all the guys, if you everyone has to compete one time this year, and if you're going to do it one time, I think the Irish Open is the best time to do it because the more people we can have at the national tournament, it shows the growth of the sport, right? And it shows people that things are getting better here. Um, yeah, it's going to be amazing, man. It's like the most exciting time for me. Like you have the Irish Open and then the Worlds like a couple of weeks later, like this is my life right here. Like I, I, could, I could not be more excited. It's going to be so sick, man. Yeah, I can't wait. Whew, looks like a beautiful day in Ireland for a jiu-jitsu tournament. Let's check it out. This place. This is uh, our second time here in the National Indoor Arena. You can see it's a beautiful venue, a uh, gorgeous place to be. Uh, eight mats here. Irish Jiu Jitsu is growing really, really rapidly. So we're like 100% uh, larger than we were three years ago. So there's about 800 competitors registered here uh, this year, and it was only about 400 maybe three years ago. So this is a huge growth, and I think probably the same as you've seen globally, probably everywhere else. But uh, Irish Jiu Jitsu is in a really strong place, and uh, we're, we're glad to contribute to it a little bit. We started like 25 minutes late, which was. Um, it's a new record for us because we've seen about 45 minutes late, but uh, no, it's going really, really well. I'm really impressed by some of the standard out here today, and uh, for us, like it's like I said, it's all about like improving a little bit every year, and the organisation is where we do most of our work. And you know, the last few weeks have been very stressful for us. A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of waking up at like 4 a.m. thinking, oh my god, did I order the medals on time? But um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's going really well today, and, and I think hard work and preparation makes today a little bit easier, you know. All right, just got a quick little warm up, running around, did some jumping jacks and things. But I think about to go way in, think about up. Um, been hanging out, watching jiu jitsu all, all morning, so it's finally time to compete now. Texas <laughs> boy. Yeah. All right. The long stairs. Yeah. All right, cool. Everyone just jump on the scouts. So you're on lap seven in. Uh, Yeah, that was fun. I had, had four matches. 
three submissions, uh, a lot of tough guys here in Ireland, so they're all tough matches. I'm pretty exhausted, to be honest. But the main story here is that it sounds like the uh, team race is neck and neck between the top three teams, Gracie Baja, SBG Ireland, and of course, uh, East Coast Jiu Jitsu Academy, Dara and, and his team. So it sounds like the, uh, the team race is neck and neck between those three teams. Uh, the Purple Belt Absolute and the Brown Belt Absolute are going right now. Um, but things are, things are neck and neck. We're gonna go out there, see who's winning, and uh, hopefully catch, the, uh, catch who, who wins the team, the team trophy. That'll be fun. This is the, uh, the Irish Open, 800 competitors. I know it was a really big deal here in, here in Ireland. Um, everybody came out for it. A lot of tough guys. So let's go check out who's gonna win the team trophy. <laughs> Deja vu. It's too close, man. It's too close to call. David Come on, Marco, let's work, let's go. Keep working for it, Marcus, keep working for it. Protect your neck and dress. He's just gonna stay there, you gotta make him move. Protect your neck and turn and cooperate, that's it. Come on, Marco, come on. Left toes in, left toes in, yeah! I had a, I came on, he tried to full lock me very hard. Polish guy, man, he like, like full locks, he's good on the foot. And then I came on top, he swung me back, he was up two points. And then I got caught in some weird positions where my legs were stuck. I look at my coach, what I do, he tried to toe and make a scramble. I don't know, I got on his back anyway. <laughs> I got on his back and that's all I can, so I got the choke. I finish a good East Coast team title. That's how we do it. Is that, is that kind of cinch up the, the team title? I think so, I think that, that should do it. Cause he's Gracie Baja, so it was close. I, I had to beat him. If he got nine, they have other Gracie Baja in absolute, so it was important, like, I think that seals it. Bojada. <laughs> Always. I'm also a fan. <laughs> if you have a medal, guys, put it on. Yeah, if you have a medal, put it on. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Quality really comes in with the higher belts, yeah? Like, white belt is so random. Even if you have a good white belt, like, I don't believe if a white belt's winning by 20 points, they, it, it's guaranteed, you know? So, the white belts, we had a few sketchy results, a few, like, like guys not doing maybe as, as what I thought, but once the blue belts came in and the purple belts came in, then the quality, you know, like, of our training and everything started to come through, and I couldn't be happier, man. This is, like, this is what I live for, you know? Like, to, to see the guys do their work. And all the work that's gone into this like since last year since we couldn't be here last year like the whole year's work and I was so scared at the start of the day man because like this is my whole life you know <laughs> like so to see it not starting to go the way it went and then to see it shift and then I started to get excited I was like oh it's starting to happen it's starting to happen and then we started to take the lead and then Marcus winning the absolute there at the end was amazing and man I, I, I couldn't be happier right now honestly. I just want to say thank you to all my team you know the guys are they believe in what I'm showing and what the guys that coach them show and you know, I'm just so happy for all of them. I, I can't explain it, I'm just absolutely over the moon. It's amazing, man, it's so cool. Thank you guys, awesome job, yeah, amazing job, guys. Uh, awesome. <laughs>